Dear members of the press, I am here before you today to inform everyone about the sad events which have befallen on me and my family recently. As I'm sure you are all aware, not too long ago, my wife, my soulmate, Daphne Sarman passed away. Our pain is still fresh, and yet, the reason for this press conference is different. We would like to share with all of you an event that has deeply saddened our family. My nephew, my nephew Kareem, has been kidnapped by a group of people we don't know. And of course the authorities are doing everything in their power to help us. Now that we are on the subject, I would like to take a moment to thank the Istanbul police. Naturally, during this difficult process, we are in need of different types of support. The point of this press conference is to make a public announcement through all of you here today. Sarman Holdings will award $1 million to anyone who can provide us with information on the kidnappers or the current location of my nephew, Karim Azdemir. Thank you very much. Yes, that's the boy. In finding his nephew, Kareem Azdemir. The boy was kidnapped a few days ago. His condition and his whereabouts are currently unknown. Well, well, well. Hey, didn't I tell you that little boy was kidnapped? His parents are going crazy trying to get him back. And the parents are very loaded. Let's go and tell the police what happened, and we can explain what that. What for? So you can get sent back home? And I get sent back to jail? They're willing to use all means necessary to find the... But this can't be happening. The boy's mother is worried. Those men will kill him if we don't help him. We won't leave him. But you can forget the police. We need to contact him directly. And then, Dora, then we will have hit the real jackpot. One million dollars. Our lives will be saved. Go on, find the number of the holding company. Hang on, what will you tell them? You, you don't know where he Do is? Do as I say and leave the rest up to me. Just have a little. You can't take your medicine if you don't eat. You'll get sick. Eat a little bit. Son, you can't stay hungry like this. Please eat. <sighs> Hello, Nuri. Ethan? What happened, Nuri? Is there a problem? No, calm down. We're fine. Don't worry. We're both safe. They won't find us here. I was worried about the boy. Is he okay? Thankfully, the boy came around. We changed the dressing like you suggested. But I can't get him to eat anything. You said no medicine without eating. Make sure you don't do that. How's the hand? Is it swollen? Yes, it's still very swollen and badly bruised, too. He'll be okay, won't he? I can't tell without... Seeing him first. At the end of the day, it wasn't a minor operation. If it gets gangrenous, he might die. I need to check What do you mean, gangrenous? Please, don't say such terrible things. We need to take precautions before things get worse. Bring him over here, but be very careful to hold him steady when you do. Nori, we can't leave the building. Forget it. I see. Then it's up to me. I'll go there. No, 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 no. You can't come here. Ethan, look. He's in bad shape right now. If he dies, it'll be on you. I'm warning you. <sighs> hmm. I need to think. Nori, they are going to go out this evening. I'll call you and then we'll figure something out. Okay then. That's fine. I'll be waiting for your call. Take care, my friend.
Hey, you know I can't eat all of this food by myself. Go on, take one. Mm-hmm. Mm, come on, you have no idea what you're missing. <laughs> this is better than horse meat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Mr. Michael's speech? He's a natural-born actor, isn't he? You're so obsessed with that man. Could you blame me, Martin? No, I can't. But I pity the guy, you know what I mean? You do? Mm-hmm. What's that? He's very lonely. All that money and wealth, and he can't solve anything. No one likes him. Didn't his wife love him? She sure did. She was so sweet and so elegant. You would think she just married him for his money, but... She had money, too. Well, not as much as the Sarmans, but she had plenty. If you saw... The two of them together, you could tell that she wasn't with him because of his money. Ugh, I wouldn't put up with that guy for all the money in the world. <laughs> did he really love his wife? He did. He loved her madly. He couldn't keep his eyes off her. I think there are only two people in the entire world that Mr. Michael loves, his wife and his sister. Gerald. Gerald? No, he doesn't like him much. He treats him more like he's part of the staff. He never could accept him as his brother-in-law. He may have good reasons that we don't know about. Gerald is a good man, really, but he's complicated. <laughs> you know, he even turned his back on his own family after he got married. It's almost as if he was kind of... Ashamed, maybe? Layla wanted to sleep. I'll stay here tonight so you can get some rest, too. That's strange. You're worried about me? Gerald, I'm only doing what I believe to be right, the same way you are. Right, but you burned those bridges. You were the one who burned those bridges. Mr. Gerald, your father is here. Just what I needed. Christ. 